Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the low pass RC network when it is applied with a pulse input. In the previous videos, we have seen when a low pass RC network is applied with a sinusoidal signal and later we have seen a step input also. Now, if the step is extended with a negative or a delayed signal, then a pulse will come uh, like uh, see what is the pulse waveform pulse is nothing but it is a step followed by a negative going signal see this is the amplitude and this is the time period now we are taking a signal instead of previously we have seen a step signal this is the step signal now instead of step we are taking a signal like this with a time period tp with a time period TP, the signal is existed between 0 to TP seconds, 0 to TP seconds and it is having a voltage V. Okay. Now, if this type of signal is applied to this low pass circuit, what is the expected output signal? What is the output signal? What about the capacitor? See, capacitor we have already studied that capacitor does not allow sudden changes in the voltage. See, at T equal to 0, at t equal to 0, how can you classify this signal? How can you write this signal in terms of equation? V i of t is equal to 0 per t less than 0. And it is equal to V per t is in between 0 and tp. And it is again 0 per t greater than tp this is the way how to how to write the uh, expression for vi of t it is 0 for t greater than t less than 0 and as well as t greater than tp here and here i am talking about and whereas in between this 0 and tp we are having an amplitude like v now what is the response of this low pass rc network with this type of signal is applied okay let us see see till t less than 0 as it is 0 there is no output and exactly at t is equal to 0 what happens there is a sudden increment there is a sudden change in the signal from 0 to v there is a sudden change in the input signal but the capacitor does not allow sudden changes so what happens output is 0 output is 0 and again it maintains a constant supply so capacitor slowly charges and again at when t is equal to tp what happens the capacitor does not allow sudden changes input is changing from v to 0 so capacitor has to discharge now let us see diagrammatically so that you can understand in a better way i will tell what is the difference among these three waveforms let me first explain see at t is equal to 0 what happens capacitor there is a sudden change in the input and the capacitor does not allow sudden changes so slowly capacitor charges 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 like this somewhere it reaches the maximum voltage but meanwhile we are having an another excursion from v to zero so capacitor discharges slowly back to the zero the same scenario occurred in three waveforms but one is doing faster way and another one is doing slowly this is because of the product RC. I told you already in the previous video, the charging and discharging period of the capacitor is completely depending on the product RC. Okay. If RC value is, if RC value is very, very high compared to TP. Okay. I will write here. If the product RC is very far compared to the time period of the input signal pulse width we can say tp as the pulse width or period of the signal if rc is very far greater than tp then what happens then what happens output reaches steady state steady state means maximum voltage steady state slowly slowly that means it charges like this a steep will be there but the same can also be written if the rc product is very less compared to the time period tp then we can say output reaches the steady state 
SS means steady state immediately. Immediately. So we will be having this type of response. This type of response. Okay. But if we are having some RC is comparable to TP, then we can say output reaches the steady state after some time few nanoseconds okay not immediately and not late okay so it will be like this somewhere okay these are the three conditions here clearly explained with the graphs see in the first condition we are taking rc is very far greater than the pulse width tp See that's why the capacitor takes very long time to charge and as well as very long time to discharge. And here in the second condition RP is comparable to TP that means just less than TP. Okay, We can also say it is less than or equal to TP that's why it is like this. And when RC is very far greater than very far less than TP then immediately the output reaches the steady state and immediately here also it reaches the steady state. Hope you understand the difference among these three waveforms. Okay, now let us see how the expression is written here. See, initially when t is at t is equal to 0, capacitor does not allow sudden changes, so capacitor starts charging and I will write here. Um, the output voltage V naught of T, we know V naught of T is equal to V final minus V final minus V initial into E power minus T by RC. Okay, V final minus C. I am writing the expression for 0 less than T less than TP. This is the first condition I am writing. Let us consider this, this as V naught of 1. V naught of 1 T is equal to V final minus V final minus V initial into E power minus T by RC. Okay. Here, what is the V final value? V final value is V. Always the capacitor tries to charge up to V. And what is the initial value? V initial value? It is 0. Initially, capacity is uncharged. So, V naught 1 of T is equal to V minus V minus 0 into E power minus T by RC. That is why it is V into 1 minus E power minus T by RC. This is V naught 1 of T. Okay, see here. This is the expression given here. This one I have written now. V naught is equal to V into E power minus T by RC until this point. Okay. Assume at T is equal to TP, it is something like VP is the voltage. Okay. Yet T is equal to TP at particular time instant, we are having the output V naught as V naught of 1 of T is equal to something like VP. Then what happens? V naught 1 of T is equal to V into 1 minus E power minus T by RC. This is what we have. Now substitute VP here. VP is equal to V into 1 minus E power. T becomes now TP. So minus TP by RC. R into C. This is at particular time TP. So that's why it is at particular time TP. We are having a voltage here Vp is equal to V into 1 minus Tp by Rc. Okay. Now, let us calculate after Tp what happens. After Tp, how we have got this one. Okay. See. Now, for T greater than Tp, for T greater than Tp, take the same condition. V naught of T, uh, V naught of 2. T is equal to V final minus V final minus V initial into E power minus T by RC. I am taking the same voltage equation. Okay. Now, here 
what is the final value now final value is what is the final value zero because the capacitor has to start from here it is the initial condition it is the initial condition and it is the final condition final voltage initial voltage is vp final voltage is zero because we are starting at tp okay previously we have started at zero that's why it is the initial condition and it is the final voltage but now we have started at this particular point that's why from tp when you are seeing this is the initial value and it is the final value so initial value initial value is equal to vp final value is zero okay now substitute these values v naught of 2 v naught 2 of t is equal to v final value 0 minus 0 minus vp initial value into e power minus what is the t here t is nothing but the time instant where we are having from tp onwards from tp onwards see now we are starting the time from tp onwards so from here onwards so what about this particular period we are neglecting we are not taking this period so we need to eliminate this particular period how to eliminate so t minus tp total time is t so it is t minus tp t minus tp by rc okay because until tp we are not doing now this is second phase okay see we are calculating after t greater than tp so before tp we don't mind that's why we are eliminating that particular part t minus tp so that's why v naught 2 of t is equal to it is simply vp into e power minus of t minus tp by rc this is the second voltage after tp okay so in this way we generally calculate the voltage at a different different time instance with the help of the basic equation v final minus v final minus v initial like this okay so the most important point we should remember here is a pulse shape a pulse shape will be preserved preserved if the 3 dB frequency is approximately is approximately equal to the reciprocal of pulse width reciprocal of pulse width okay that means we need to choose the pulse width tp is is equal to 1 by 3 db frequency like fh okay then in that condition we will be having the shape preserving condition that means see here in these three conditions we will be having the shape nearly equal to the input shape like this this type of waveform can be occurred when what happens when the pulse width is the reciprocal of the 3 db frequency okay this type of condition at this type of condition we will be having the input shape okay so thank you